Andre Ward. Um, obviously, you know, everybody knows what's going on with that whole situation. How has it been for you? Uh, not, not, you know, not, not just as his trainer, but, you know, as being part of the family. Um, is, is, has this been a difficult process for you? Well, you know, me being his godfather and, and, and us having um, our relationship from his childhood and things like that. I wouldn't say difficult. Mm -hmm. I, I would just say it's just um, something that's in his in his journey. You mm -hmm. know, there's it's it's just a phase of his journey. And um, the, the one thing I don't worry about Andre is is that he's in preparation mm -hmm. at all times. You know, the sad part about it is is that you know you can't get anybody that wants to fight Andre because he never. Uh, he's he's not in a situation where he can't fight. Mm -hmm. he, he's in a situation where a fight can't be delivered. Mm -hmm. So you know it's just unfortunate that he's not in that era of the great super middleweights like the Roy and James Tony and Jerome mm -hmm. Clellans and everything. The guys who would be willing to step up because you know hey he's number two pound for pound. Mm -hmm. He has the ring belt and I want that. And we just don't have those kind of guys out there today. Mm -hmm. You see all the super middleweights speaking of fighting someone else, right. but they never speak about fighting Andre Ward. Mm -hmm. So um, that's that's really the fight holdup. Mm -hmm. It's not about him fighting. It's about that nobody's willing to step up in fighting. Um, so it's, it's just unfortunate that we have those kind of fighters out there today. Mm -hmm. So uh, in the meantime, Andre's young. He has no wear and tear on him. Um, and he's, the, the, the bad thing for any opponent, he's getting better and better. Mm -hmm. And he's in the gym and he's full of his right arm since he's 12 years old, fully healed. So when he does get back in the ring, it's going to be a terrible thing for people. So mm -hmm. maybe I shouldn't say that. Um, <laughs> you you scaring away the yeah, opponent. Look, 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 <laughs> you got to say he looking look, terrible. Either, either they're going to step up. Sometimes you just cannot hide mm -hmm. behind your promoters. You just can't hide behind, you know, you have to step up if you want to be the best like we did. We stepped up. Mm -hmm. We went for the belt in 19 fights. We got the belt. So, you know, you don't wait thinking he's going to slip and get old because that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. He's only 30 years old and he's a young 30. He's really 25 in his body because mm -hmm. he hasn't really been touched in a boxing. Right. And, um, he hasn't had that wear and tear of wars and things because he's, he's so diligent and well prepared. You'll never get him in that. He's too strong, too mm -hmm. fast, too uh, intelligent. So um, our time will come. Mm -hmm. And we know that. And um, that's what keeps us going. That's what motivates us every day. That's what's up. Well, that's all I got, Verge. We got to okay. get to this weigh-in. Your phone's already right. blowing up. Yeah. <laughs>